this is an impossible question. Um, <laughs> so economics, the role it plays in society is, is to try to understand how to make, how to optimize and how to make things as efficient as possible. I think that's generally the goal of economists um, and of economics and a system in which you are doing everything optimally so that everyone is better off is, is the best kind of system. Um, it doesn't end up always playing into the common good. However, you end up with winners and losers in economics. Um, so you're trying to find the most optimal role for everyone on average. Um, and in reality, when you disassociate that average, there are some who win and some who lose. And so generally on average, the common good is, is in theory better off, but um, that doesn't actually apply to individuals. And so, I think this is something that economists have, have largely ignored for a while. We often work in means um, and ignore the more granular data. And I think we're starting to address that. You see it in policy in particular, you know, all this discussion about inequality across the developed world. Um, but you also see it in terms of um, the field in academics. So normally I'd say economists have very specific silos and they don't tend to talk to one another. So the microeconomists go to microeconomics conferences and the macroeconomists go to macro conferences and they never ever uh, participate in the same things. And those silos are starting to break down, I think, um, largely off the back of the global financial crisis as economists recognized maybe they weren't getting everything right and were missing some things. And that there were these new drivers of things like inequality. So all of a sudden macro and micro are starting to meld together a lot more than it used to. And I think that's probably a positive thing. So it doesn't always work in, in terms of the common good. On average it might, um, but, but averages conceal a whole lot. 